So after adding the prices, when you click on save and continue, here you can add the additional options. So first let's understand what is additional options. So additional options are like say after size and quantity, you need your customer to select the other options like say paper, lamination, then color. These all are called the additional options. Like say you can see over here paper, lamination, corner, turnaround time. So these all are additional options. Now let's see how to add additional options. You can add additional options by clicking on add button in top right hand corner. Like say this is a business card. So additional option will be paper. Now in description you can add description regarding this particular additional option. And for example on the storefront in standard business card product here I have paper option and when I click on this question mark it shows the description added in the additional option. So the description will show up like this. If you add description over here for this additional option then if you have added additional option group then you can select additional option group from here. This additional option group is just for your reference. It is not displayed on the storefront. Then you can select type. Like say it will be a text box, radio button, drop down, text area, checkbox, upload file button or text box price without multiplication or text box price with multiplication. Then comes display in price calculator. So whether you want to display this additional option in price calculator yes or no that you can select from here if you keep it inactive it will not be displayed in price calculator and the price will not be calculated for this particular additional option if you added any prices for these then option name position so here is an example so right now you can see that option name is on the top and then below the options are displayed now if you activate this option name position it will be displayed like this one. It will be displayed like say first the option name and into parallel you will have the additional options. Right now they are displayed like this one. So this is the option name position then description position. In the description position right now you can see the description position is a question mark over here like this one. When I click on the question mark it will show the description. But if you activate the description position then it will show up like this. So it will show up under additional option it will directly show up the text or description instead of a question mark. So this is description position. Then higher designer. So if you want to display this additional option on higher designer page then you activate this higher designer button otherwise keep it inactive. Then required. So if you want to make this additional option mandatory for your customer then you can activate require button over here otherwise keep it inactive. Then sort order status active then set up attributes of additional option so you will add attributes of additional option over here except it's paper so 310 310 gsm then one more i like to add so add new option 410 gsm sort order 2. Now visual price calculator. So the option for visual price calculator. So you can see over here for paper additional option here the different images are displayed for different paper type. So same kind of images you can add in the additional option from this images button over here to display it in the price calculator as a visual price calculator. If you activate visual price calculator from the settings over here then you can upload images from here to be displayed in the visual price calculator. Now if you want to charge any extra for this particular 
additional options then you can click on save and continue otherwise click on save and back now here you can add the additional charges for your additional options here you have two option you can select the size like say it can be common price for all sizes or it can be size based so here right now we have only one size let's add another size so we can better understand so, 3.5 3.5 by 2.5 3.75 by 2.75 and save over here let's get back to the additional option action attribute price Okay. so now common price for all size and you can also add size based pricing like say for this particular size you can add pricing or for this particular size you can add pricing so you can also add size based pricing and then click on save and back In the same way you can add more additional options, say lamination, select again drop down, sort order 2, then gloss, M A T mat gloss and spot UV and sort of one two three seven back so now two additional options are added we can add one more like say printing sides drop down front only front and back both two three seven back now suppose if you want to charge combined option price instead of charging for single additional option you want to charge a combined option price like say for paper and lamination you want to charge a price in combination of paper and lamination in that case you can click on combine option prices from here create a group name like say paper and lamination then select the options paper and lamination default option paper and save so now option for combined option prices is created now here you can add the combined option prices for paper and lamination like say 310 gsm mat this size and this quantity the same way 310 gsm gloss this size and this quantity likewise you can add the combined option prices and here also you can add common price for all size or you can also add size based pricing now for example 410 gsm gloss and 500 quantity for this particular combine option suppose i add the price five dollars okay and i click on save now the combine option price for 410 gsm gloss and 500 quantity i have added over here now when i go to storefront and see the product on the storefront we added 410 gsm and gloss for 500 quantity so if i select 500 quantity from here 410 gsm it shows 55 dollars with matte lamination now if i select gloss it will add 5 dollars 
so you can see now the price is sixty dollars so this is how combine option prices works so this was a combine option prices manage designer rules so suppose for a particular attribute you don't want to give your customer two-sided business card option so in that case you can hide a page of back or front whatever for a particular additional option or particular additional option attribute so for that you select the option from here like say for example printing sites then select the attribute like custom rib selects front only back will be hidden in the designer studio so status active now if you want to allow your customer to design back also when he reaches to the designer studio and then you can allow edit on additional option page okay from here otherwise keep it inactive and save let's see how it works on the storefront in the designer studio now on the storefront in this business card i have selected front only and i am proceeding click on custom design to go to the designer studio so now you can see only front is available and I am unable to edit back over here. So this is how hide product pages designer rule works. Designer preview. So from here you can for particular attributes or additional options you can add the preview images. Upload the preview images for designer studio. So this was many designer rules. Then comes the additional option rules. So in additional option rules, you can create additional option rules like say for example, when a customer selects 310 GSM, he should not be able to select lamination spot UV. So in that case, you can create an additional option rule over here. Like say let's see this particular business card on the storefront. So here right now, customer if selects 410 GSM, is able to select spot UV. Now I want to restrict customers from selecting spot UV when they select 410 GSM. So in that case create an additional option rule. Click on add button rule name lamination. Then you can select the rule from here like size and quantity base size and additional option base or additional option base. I am creating an additional option base so I will select additional option base. Now from here you need to select the additional option so I will select 410 GSM so when customer selects 410 GSM it should not be able to select spot UV so here I will select the option to be hidden is spot UV status active save and back so now you can see the rule is created over here now let's check it on the storefront right now you can see 410 GSM spot UV or lamination you can select we have created over here rule that if customer selects 410 GSM should not be able to select lamination spot UV now let's refresh this page now when I select 410 GSM you can see I am unable to select spot UV over here under lamination but if I select 310 GSM I am able to select spot UV so this is how the additional option rule works then comes the meta tags so in the meta tags you can add the meta tags for your particular product over here like say select the option product section like default browse design upload design custom design then add the page title say business card then meta keywords you can add over here the meta keywords are, will be like say visiting card appointment card business card online printing business card etc will be the meta keywords that you can add over here and you can add a small meta description over here which will be displayed on the search engine so here you can add the meta tags then comes the product gallery so product gallery is a gallery that is product image gallery on the product page so you can see over here there are different images in the product image gallery on this particular product page so to add images in the product gallery you can add it from here this is a product gallery you can upload the file just click on upload select the image then click on save button if you want to upload more again click on upload file select the another image click on save button and then add the title image 
in sort order one and two then click on save button in top right hand corner now when i go to storefront here right now you can see only one image is displayed which we uploaded previously in the large image section now when i refresh over here now you can see multiple images over here in the product image gallery so this is how you can add multiple image in the product image gallery for remaining options please watch how to add product part 3 thank you for watching this video